Mirror, mirror on the wall. How can I destroy myself? Yeah, yeah. Oh! Tight, my name. Tight, 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 I don't know. You know what? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to remove the character. All right? And I'm not saying that I'm a character, but we all wake up some days and just be like, this shit, I can't take it anymore. Or we just look at ourselves in the mirror and it's like, mirror, mirror on the wall. How can I destroy myself? And we do it. We do it to ourselves, man. We are our worst enemy. Inside my head, I am my worst enemy. Right now, between episodes and when you're doing the, the, the edits and all that kind of shit, I don't want to hear my own voice. I hate seeing myself on the camera, believe it or not. Yes, I get it. You're like, oh, he's so comfortable on camera, all that. But the internal me, is kicking my ass all the time, trying to tell me I can't do it. You shouldn't do it. You're a fraud. You're not supposed to be on, this is what, this is my enemy. Everybody has this internal enemy, man. And you cannot let that asshole stop you. You can't. It's like that shoulder thing where you have the angel on one and the devil on the other. We all have it. We all have it. I don't care if you're Beyonce, okay? You can talk about all the put a ring on it, but I guarantee you, sometimes sitting alone, she's doubting who she is. So self-doubt is not abnormal. What is abnormal, I'm not even gonna say what is abnormal. No, here it is, yeah, I'm gonna let it stay like that. What is abnormal is the person or the personality that does not let this shoulder tell it anything of value, right? So what you want to do is not listen. Not only not listen, because it's going to talk, but you want to have the right responses. And really, it's all a lie. It's a lie that you're self-doubting yourself, you know? You, you really, really, I'm just trying to think of, some of the things that I really have to do. I mean, in the mornings, I have to get up and I have to do my own self-edification. Every morning, I wake up. I am better, I am stronger, and I'm smarter. Every morning, I say that to myself. And the reason why I have to say it to myself is just so self-doubt already gets out of the way for me before I start my day, all right? And the other thing that it really is doing for you or trying to do is make you fear. And you've heard the acronym for fear, false evidence appearing real. That's what fear is, right? And when you have self-doubt, it starts letting you believe that the fear is absolutely going to happen. But I want to ask you this question. What scares you more? to stay where you are or to try something different and maybe succeed. You see what I just did there? I've turned your fear of unknown into way better than the fear of staying. You got to get out. You know you want to get out. You feel you want to get out every day. And the reason why the doubt comes in is because you stopped. You're not doing anything. You're not making any change to the way you want to be to make that actually happen. You have to, have to, have to go out and try something different. Even if you fail, there is really no failure. All you did is learn how not to do that. Don't let fear and self-doubt stop you. And then I got something else right here, right? Comparing yourself to others. This has been probably 
one of the worst parts of social media, comparing yourself to everybody else. Really? Nobody on social media is real. Nobody. Either they're telling you all the depressing shit, my parents just died, uh, pray for me, I'm going in the hospital, uh, right? They are already telling you all of that crap, or they're telling you how great their life is. And all you see is the pictures from their vacation and every, all that great stuff. And then three weeks later, they're getting the divorce, but they never put the divorce part on there. They just show you how great the family is. You cannot believe social media because it's really a duplicity of their life. It's either it's all going great or it's all going to shit. That's the way people post, right? They don't put all of the ups and downs of our lives on social media, right? So don't sit around and compare your life to somebody that all they show you are the great things. If you lived next door, you'd hear the arguing. You know what I'm saying? If you lived in that household, you'd know what was actually going on. Most people are not that transparent. The more transparent you are, sometimes it'll bring more people into you. So don't be afraid of showing all parts of the struggle. You don't have to show the dirty underwear. I don't need to see all that. But there are some struggles with just keeping your laundry clean. Yeah? So the deal is don't compare yourself to everybody else. Understand that you've got this. That's your fingerprint. That makes you unique. Your story is always going to differentiate you from everybody else. Nobody is living your story. I come from a family of eight children, eight children that were raised by the same parents in the same households. Well, a little bit more fractured, but we got the same father, <laughs> right? And the deal is when I look at my brothers and I see, you know, I mean, my sisters, they're all different. My brother's. They're all, we're all different. The deal is you come out unique. You know, you are straight out the womb unique. And don't think that circumstances and situations really, they, they kind of meld you a little bit, but not totally. So the deal is when you're doing this and you're teaching what you know, throw in some of your own personal experiences People are going to be so attracted to you because of the uniqueness of you. And if people are attracted to you, then you know there's some value there. And every once in a while, I want you to take the opinion of other people. Only every once in a while. I want you to take the good parts that people say about you. You don't need to take the bad parts because I don't think anybody is internally worse than you are on yourself. That's just natural. However, Every once in a while, take some of the good things that people are saying about you. Try to internalize that. Understand that you have value. Understand that your uniqueness is what's going to attract your audience. You are going to attract people that will vibe with your personality. How's that sound? Huh? Will that change the way you feel about yourself? Probably not. Probably not. But it'll definitely help you to build more character in to your own self-belief so it will keep you from the fear that keeps you from doing nothing, right? Get out, do something, change the world simply by being yourself. All right, this is your boy, John. I'm out of here. I need to go and get me a tissue because I've upset myself. Anyway, I'm teasing, man. You know, I appreciate you guys. And until next time, you know, fight with that enemy that is inside of yourself. And it's going to make this whole journey so much better. 36 steps. Yeah, this is one of the 36 days. I'm out of here for now. Peace.